not all electric aircraft are built the same. Have you ever wondered why some soar straight up while others need a short runway? Let's unravel the differences between EV toll, ES toll, and EC toll aircraft. In this video, we'll break down these three cutting-edge aviation technologies. We'll explain how they work, their strengths and challenges, and where each fits into the urban air mobility revolution. Welcome to the channel. First, let's look at EV toll, electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. These are the rock stars of urban air mobility. Electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft are designed to take off and land vertically, like a helicopter using electric propulsion systems. Think of Joby Aviation, whose EV toll prototypes promise ranges of 150 miles and speeds up to 200 miles per hour. Electric vertical takeoff and landing systems are perfect for congested urban areas where space is limited, offering point-to-point -point travel without needing a runway. But here's the catch. They consume enormous power during takeoff and landing. To make EV tolls practical, companies like Lilium are investing in advanced battery technology, targeting energy densities around 300 watt-hour per kilogram. This means EV tolls excel in short trips, especially in high-density cities. However, their dependency on battery innovation and infrastructure like vertiports remains a hurdle. Now let's shift gears to ES Toll, electric short takeoff and landing aircraft. These hybrids bridge the gap between traditional runways and vertical flight. ES Toll aircraft only need a short runway, sometimes as little as 300 feet. This design reduces the energy demands of vertical flight. Companies like Electra.Aero are building ES toll planes capable of carrying 7 to 9 passengers over 500 miles. One key feature? Distributed electric propulsion systems that improve efficiency and enable quieter operations. These aircraft often use fixed wings combined with clever airflow techniques to achieve high lift with low drag. With their extended range and lower energy demands, ES tolls are perfect for suburban airstrips or linking regional hubs. Imagine commuting from a small town to a city center in minutes. Lastly, let's talk about EC Tall, electric conventional takeoff and landing aircraft. These are the most familiar looking of the bunch, but with a modern twist. EC Tall aircraft operate like traditional planes, requiring long runways but powered entirely by electric or hybrid systems. Hart Aerospace is a front runner here with its ES30 promising a 200-mile range on batteries alone, extendable to 400 miles using hybrid backup. Why choose EC Toll? Their straightforward design allows for longer ranges, higher payloads, and easy integration into existing airports. However, they're limited by the need for large runways and may not suit densely packed urban areas. EC Toll could dominate regional flights, connecting smaller cities without the carbon footprint of traditional jets. So what's the difference between EV Tall, ES Tall, and EC Tall? Electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft are perfect for urban centers where space is tight, offering vertical takeoff and landing. They're revolutionary but still face challenges with battery efficiency. ES Tolls, on the other hand, are a great middle ground. They need just a short runway, making them ideal for regional hubs or smaller airstrips where space is limited. Finally, EC tolls shine on longer routes. They're efficient, can carry heavier payloads, and work perfectly with existing airports, making them a strong choice for regional travel. The future of urban air mobility may not belong to just one technology, but a blend of all three. What's your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this breakdown helpful, check out our related video on the top five EV tolls poised to transform air mobility by 2025.